Well, what is up everyone? Welcome back to our lawn and today is an exciting day because we're taking a break from the road to recovery and we're going to cause some damage. And what I mean by that is it is time to finally expand the putting green. So we're going to about double it in size, maybe just a little bit shy. I have roughly the shape I want to make it paint it out. My plan is I'm going to take the Jacobson, bring it down either five hundredths or a tenth of an inch at a time, somewhere in there, bring that down to a quarter, then use the John Deere to take it from a quarter, rest of the way down. We're going to scuff it up with the Sun Joe. We're going to see, we're going to sand, we're going to water and hope for the best. Uh, this is very exciting stuff. I've been looking forward to this since last year sometime when I decided to do it. Then it got delayed because of my leg. But fortunately, we're back after it now. Head to cut adjustment on the Jacobson works basically like the head to cut adjustment on every greens mower. We loosen up the two bolts that hold it in place and we adjust. So this is currently set at 0.4. We're gonna move her down to 0.35. I will only bore you with changing the height of cut one time. That's the wrong way. Let's see what I did to this side. probably worry too much about how accurate this is the more I think about it we're gonna cut it three more times and do this three more times and off we go that process will be the same every time we keep walking it down we'll show you the most One in the books really doesn't look any different. Just like that, it's five days later and to wrap up phase one of this putting green expansion. And what I'm realizing is I'm really showing you the process that I would recommend for any homeowner to take their yard from the existing grass and create a putting green. So what I've done so far that you've seen is take the existing grass, scalp it all the way down. I scuffed up the surface of the, of the dirt that was there. I seeded into that dirt. Then I came over the top of it with sand and now I'm just watering. I'm cheating a little bit since I'm starting from turf that was already fairly short and it's already starting to grow back up through the existing turf. But I am now watering every four hours for 10 minutes in the hopes that that bentgrass seed starts to germinate. It comes back through and in the next video on this series is going to be following along to the establishment process and what we do for all of that. And then at the end of all of it, I'll do a more dedicated video to walk through the process in a more concise way, show you the steps so you, if somebody doesn't want to watch along to all the vlog content that will be out there at the end for them to consume in a small, ready to use package. So. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.